Hello, I'm Carolyn Jackson, and so glad to be back on KDBC again for the first time in about 40 years. And I'm especially glad to have my special guest, Casey Claiborne, who is with KDBC now. You know, Casey, people have a curiosity uh, about people in the entertainment business or on TV and everything. So. How did you, how were you drawn to this? What made you want to be on TV? Well, in high school, I, I did both ends of this business. I was in journalism, so I took the newspaper class. Wow, I'm really, really excited, excited to be doing a Carolyn, Carolyn Jackson, Jackson show, but, but honestly, honestly, it should be me interviewing Carolyn, Carolyn about, about her life. life. She's, She's much, much more fascinating, fascinating than I am. We've, We've got, got to switch, switch things, things up here. KTBC Radio, we it was the golden age of television. KTBC had been in viewers' homes since 1952, and by the 1970s, Carolyn Jackson was a household name. I can't think of a nicer way to start the day than uh, by chatting with the very lovely actress Anne Margaret, who is currently appearing in Columbia Pictures' new movie, Tommy. Jackson tells me she was doing educational television in the 60s when the host of KTBC's Woman's World left for New York. Cactus Pryor, whom I'm sure you've heard of, he called me and said, we're going to have people come in and audition. Why don't you come give it a try? Obviously, she got the job. Soon, new management wanted to make some changes to the Woman's World program. As it turned out, men were watching it, too. I said, well, what are we going to call it? And he said, well, what do you think about the Carolyn Jackson show? I said, well, that sounds like a pretty good name to me. Right. Yeah. Speaking of men and women, unfortunately, this was sort of a men-dominated job back then. Uh, talk about that a little yes, bit. Yes, you can't believe. No directors, no camera women, no, and it, it was all men. It was definitely a man's world. Jackson points out at that time, women often worked as secretaries or receptionists, not much representation on air or in the studio. Her co-worker, Mary Strickland, had helped fill in as floor manager, so Jackson made this request. I'd like to have Mary Strickland as my floor manager. And he said, that's no problem. So. We got our first woman as floor manager in Austin, and that was a big step. And little by little, the women began to, to come in the door and show what they could do, and it's been okay ever since. And I'm just happy to think that if I had a part of that. Besides helping pave the way for women in television, the Carolyn Jackson show was just a lot of fun. I did lots of celebrities, lots of authors, Lots of entertainers, lots of just regular people with interesting stories like you do. I'm talking with uh, actor Richard Pryor, who's currently starring in Silver Street. Hello, Richard. Hello. Jackson would travel all over the country to interview big stars at press junkets. Sometimes it was Dallas, sometimes it was New York, sometimes it was L.A. The uh, studio paid for everything for the trip. What will the next one be, or do you know yet? The world's greatest lover. Oh, that fits you to a T. Oh, I, I didn't realize we had met before. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn Jackson eventually took the show to a different network and then stepped behind the camera to work for the Texas Film Commission. Now, Carolyn Jackson is 92. She still lives here in Central Texas with her little dog, Doodlebug, and no shortage of loving family members. I have two daughters, I have five grandchildren, and I have nine great-grandchildren. So I've got a lot of people to have fun with. You've been lots of fun. Thank you. Come to Austin, will you? We'd like to have you in Austin. Thank Texas you very much. We have lots of fun in Austin. Do you? Yeah, we really do. What do you do? We come Austin? on a train. There is a train that runs through Austin, and yeah. I'll meet you at the depot. Do you have a way that you, that you ended the Carolyn Jackson show every time? Do you, do you want to end it now? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>